Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on a thrilling journey through the world of vehicles that transcend preferences and capture hearts universally. From sleek designs to cutting-edge technology, these are the rides that ignite admiration in everyone. Join us as we explore an ensemble of vehicles that promise not just transportation but a symphony of style, innovation, and universal appeal. Don't forget to turn on notifications, like, and subscribe to ARD Now. Conference Bike The Conference Bike offers a unique and unconventional way to conduct business meetings while pedaling together with colleagues. This seven-seater vehicle allows passengers to pedal together in a circle, with one person steering. The bike can accommodate a weight of up to 1,500 pounds, despite its own weight of approximately 440 pounds. While it may not be easily foldable or stowable in a trunk, it is designed for tourism or team building activities in corporations and university campuses. The manufacturer claims that the conference bike can reach a maximum speed of about 9 miles per hour. Despite its unconventional appearance, it has the same legal status as a regular bicycle in most countries. Notably, Google has incorporated nine of these bikes into its operations. Currently, there are more than 300 conference bikes in use across 18 countries. Big Wheel Drifter Drift trikes are specialized three-wheeled bicycles designed for the sport of bicycle drifting. They have rear wheels with a low grip surface, typically made of hard plastic or PVC, to facilitate drifting. The concept originated in California, USA, where enthusiasts, including Marty Spellman, built the first drift trikes. Since then, various companies, such as SFD Industries, have produced their own models. Drift trikes are often equipped with small motors, generating around 6 horsepower, which is sufficient for drifting. Drifting tracks have gained popularity, and custom models are created, as showcased in Season 5 of the TV show Counting Cars. Additionally, garage vlog enthusiasts have crafted custom mini trikes, demonstrating their versatility and readiness for riding, even with their compact size. Diesel Tribe The Walt Moss Diesel Tribe Flood Moss Motorcycle Trike is a distinctive diesel-powered creation. It features a 3,208 Caterpillar diesel twin turbo power plant connected to a 6-speed Allison transmission. The radiator is positioned behind the two-seat passenger seat. One of the standout features of the trike is the rear canopy, which is crafted from the hood of a Kenworth semi-truck that has been flipped and modified. The construction of this unique vehicle took nine months, resulting in a one-of-a-kind creation. Jirak Customs Electric Bike J Rack Custom specializes in crafting fully customized electric bikes, blending old school builds with functional technology. Their creations allow for complete customization, with aspects such as frames, wheels, and lighting tailored to the customer's preferences. While each bike is unique in design, they share general characteristics such as a maximum speed of 30 miles per hour and a range of 10 to 30 miles on a single charge, depending on the maintained speed. Charging the electric bike takes approximately 4 hours. J-Rack Customs has already produced over 50 distinct electric bicycles, ensuring that no design is repeated. Gordon Type S The Gordon GL1800 Trike Series introduces its newest member, the TIE Type S. This model has undergone significant changes, 
featuring a complete body redesign finished in carbon fiber instead of fiberglass. The substructure has been enhanced with lightweight aluminum components instead of steel. The TIE Type S is considered the pinnacle of the Gordon trike lineup, attracting customers who appreciate exclusive designs. The trike is built on the Honda Gold Wing GL1800 motorcycle, chosen for its stability, elegant design, and good handling. It incorporates a specially designed multi-link independent rear suspension that is height adjustable. The combination of this suspension, special transmission, and braking system allows owners to experience the full capabilities of the platform. The concept of trikes, or motorcycles with sidecars, is not entirely new. Italian inventor François Norik had a similar concept in 1976, creating the Leverta motorcycle with a custom-built sidecar using parts from various cars, including a Volkswagen Golf GTI, Audi 80, and Citroën Xantia. Additionally, there is a mention of the Yike bike, but the details about it are not provided in the given text. If you have specific questions about the Yike bike or need more information on a particular aspect, feel free to ask. Yike bike. I apologize for any confusion, but it seems like there might be a slight mix up in the details provided. The information you mentioned appears to be about the Yike bike, a compact and foldable electric bike. Yike bike is known for its unique design and portability. It typically features a small frame, electric motor, and is designed for short distance urban commuting. If you have any specific questions about the Yike bike, its comfort, or any other details, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to provide accurate information based on what is available up to my last knowledge update in January 2022. Oh no! It seems like there's been a bit of confusion in the provided information. The details you mentioned appear to be about Ono Motion Z cargo bike, which aims to revolutionize urban mobility with a focus on environmentally friendly and cost-effective transportation. The Ono E cargo bike is designed for transporting various items, featuring a unique design for the driver's cab, protection from weather elements, and a modular container with a built-in ramp. However, there's a mention of party bike in your message, and it seems like the context or details about the party bike might be missing. If you have specific questions or if there's additional information you'd like to provide about the party bike, please feel free to share, and I'll do my best to assist. Party Bike It seems like you're providing information about the party bike, a multi-passenger bicycle that originated in the Netherlands in 1997. The party bike is powered by passengers, and the driver is responsible for steering and braking, not pedaling. These bikes are often used for various events, such as corporate parties, bachelor and bachelorette parties, and can even serve as rolling refreshment stands. Some models may have electric motors to assist with pedaling on hilly terrain, and safety features like headlights, tail lights, and turn signals. You also mentioned the versatility of pedal transportation, highlighting its potential uses beyond leisure activities. In Guatemala, Bicycles are utilized to create various tools, such as nut shellers, mixers, and washing machines, offering practical solutions in areas where electricity may be expensive or intermittent. If you have any specific questions or if there's more information you'd like to share, feel free to let me know. Small Circle S1 the Small Circle S1 electric bike is highlighted for its innovative folding design, allowing it to be compact enough to fit in a backpack. The bike can be folded in 5 simple steps and has a maximum speed of up to 12 miles per hour, with a range of about 12 miles on a single charge. Its lightweight and sturdy carbon fiber construction contribute to its portability. Despite its small size, the Small Circle S1 has a maximum weight capacity of 220 pounds. Additionally, the electric bike comes with a companion mobile app for both iOS and Android, offering features such as locking and unlocking the bike, monitoring battery usage, adjusting speed, and changing settings. The bike is designed with a robust motor and thick anti-slip rubber, 
allowing for smooth rides on various terrains, including bumpy surfaces and hills with inclines up to 12%. It's also noted to be water resistant, making it suitable for riding in rainy weather. If you have any specific questions or if there's more information you'd like to share, feel free to let me know. Hydrofoiler Manta 5's XC1 is presented as the world's first watercraft of its kind, featuring hydrofoils for a unique cycling experience on water. The XC1 offers up to 4 hours of water adventures with a maximum speed of 13 miles per hour. It's important to maintain a minimum speed of 5.6 miles per hour to stay afloat, as going slower may lead to submerging. The total weight of the XC1 is 68 pounds, and it requires continuous movement to stay afloat, factoring in the weight of the rider. Another model for Manta 5 is the SL3, known for its variable speed influenced by factors such as riding conditions, rider weight, and skill level. It can reach a maximum speed of 13 miles per hour, with a minimum required speed of 4 miles per hour. Depending on the battery, which is lithium-ion, the SL3 hydrofoiler can last from 3 to 5 hours without recharging. The motor has a power output of 2,500 watts, and riders can control various parameters through the built-in LCD display during the ride. While the XC1 is designed for cycling on water, there is mention of a similar design being utilized in the Swiss Alps for rolling on snowy terrain, showcasing the versatility of the hydrofoil concept. If you have any specific questions or if there's more information you'd like, feel free to let me know. Cabrio Velo Cabrio Velo is a unique pedal-powered vehicle designed with a foldable roof and sides, making it suitable for various climates, including chilly regions and popular tourist destinations. Weighing 99 pounds, the vehicle was initially considered for a carbon fiber version, but details suggest that it might not significantly reduce the weight. Cabrio Velo features a full lighting system and a 53-gallon rear cab, with an option to install a child seat. The optional 250-watt motor is positioned on the front wheel and is powered by a lithium battery. However, the rear wheels require pedaling, as Cabrio Velo is categorized as a bicycle. The vehicle can cover a maximum distance of 62 miles without any brakes. While information on charging the battery directly while riding, e, g, through solar power or pedaling, is not provided, it would be a welcome addition. Cabrio Velo offers customization options, such as front window wipers, a joystick, loop wheels, and more, available upon request. It's important to note that as of the last available information, there were no retail stores offering Cabrio Velo for purchase, and the crowdfunding initiative started in 2016 without apparent progress. Piaggio MP3 The MP3 is a distinctive three-wheeled scooter manufactured by the Italian company Piaggio. First introduced in 2006, the MP3 features two front wheels and one rear wheel, allowing it to stop and park easily, even on inclined surfaces. The three-wheeled configuration enables balance at low speeds or during stops, with the front suspension being lockable or unlockable through a switch. Piaggio has continuously refined the MP3 lineup, introducing new models that incorporate elements from the automotive world to enhance comfort and safety. Some of the features include a blind spot information system, a complete LED lighting system with a focus on front LEDs, a rear view camera, and reverse gear functionality for easy parking maneuvers. The keyless entry system facilitates quick and convenient vehicle startup, while the full color display is claimed to be the largest in the three wheel category. The latest Piaggio MP3 scooter lineup, equipped with a high-performance Euro 5 engine, modern design, and compatibility with B licenses, is positioned to bring changes to urban mobility.
Duo Bike The Duo Bike is a unique four-wheeled bike that stands out for its ability to move around while maintaining excellent maneuverability. Unlike traditional four-wheeled bikes associated with children, the Duo Bike is designed for adults and offers the capability to tilt sideways without tipping over, allowing for smooth navigation around corners. It features a single seat with a classic bicycle seat design, complete with a padded backrest and standard pedals, resembling a standard bike that took on a unique form. It's worth noting that the video also mentions the artistic work of Rocky Byun, a South Korean artist known for creating sculptures that defy gravity. By finding balance points in various objects, including rocks, furniture, and motorcycles, Byun creates magnificent sculptures that showcase his understanding of physics and his zen-like approach to his work. As we conclude our joyous ride through these universally loved vehicles, it's clear that certain designs and innovations have the power to resonate with everyone. Whether it's the sleek lines, the revolutionary features, or the sheer charisma, these vehicles encapsulate a universal love for the open road. Let the admiration for these rides continue to fuel our collective passion for automotive excellence.